Used to be that this was the cool ringtone. Now everyone's got it. Would you rather have a cool ringtone like this one? I know I do. So first we need a sound, and in this case, we're going to use that classic goat scream. I have this website up here, uh, onlinevideoconverter.com. Obviously not a sponsor, probably not legal, um, but we're doing this for personal use, and I found this to be a site that's consistently reliable. And if I paste in a YouTube link, and we just set this format to wave, then we can start converting this. So after a few seconds, it will convert it. I have already done this one, so I don't need to show you how to download a file again, but I will bring this in to Reaper. And so I've got this sound, and here's the full sound. And so obviously there's a lot in here that we don't need. So I'm just gonna trim this like that, put in a little fade, trim the end, and put in a fade on the other side, like that. And here's what here's the sound. So this is not going to automatically loop on the phone, so you need to make it a longer file. You need to get that spacing right, and you need to uh, set it up so that it's like 40 seconds long. We're going to just duplicate these a bunch of times. I don't know how many times. Until we're at least 40 seconds. Double click on the track to select it, and then you want to use this action, reposition selected items. That's a SWS extension script. So from item end, we want this on 0 0.5 seconds. And then we want to just trim off any of these files that are past 40 seconds. So now here's how it sounds when it's playing back. So just a short gap between, and you can customize this, you can add effects, you can change the serial balance or anything else you want to do. I'm just going to leave it as is and we'll go to rendering this. So file menu, render. If you're on Mac, you can go directly to a AAC file. And so that would be going to the output format, setting this to MPEG-4, setting the format not to MPEG-4 video, but MPEG-4 audio, which uses the AAC codec. You can choose however many kilobits per second. Doesn't really matter, it's just playing back on your phone. Nobody really cares. You're gonna hear it, and that's the main thing. When you play it back, it's gonna put you in a good mood. You're gonna answer your phone and be happy. So it just gives us a name like Goat Scream, and um, I'll just add a one because I've already exported this once before. And we want this to be on entire project. And yeah, and just to make sure that, yeah, this looks like it would go over, so I'm just gonna remove this last one, so. It's going to export this to Goat Scream 1. And it exports really quickly because we're not doing any effects or automation or anything like that. Now, if you're on Windows, you can't export directly to AAC, so you would export as a wave. So I'll just do that. So this is Goat Scream 1.wave this time, and we'll make it a 16 bit wave and render that. It's even faster, actually, to do it that way. If you're on a Mac, you can take the file with .m4a extension and just name that m4r. Instead of m4a, it's m4r for ringtone. And then say, yes, use m4r. And so that will let uh, the iOS device know that it's a ringtone file and it will come up in the right menus. And if you have the WAV file, you need to open up iTunes, go to your library, you want to import a file into your library. So I've got this goat scream file here. Then when you get this file into iTunes, select it, go to the file menu, and then convert. And you can do uh, create an AAC version here. So it's made a AAC version. And show in Finder. And so there's the M4A. I'm going to, again, select this and change this to M4R. Same as I showed before, but we're now in a different folder. You know, this is put it into the music folder now. 
with our phone connected, we can go to the tones category here, and then you can drag in the Goat Scream 1 tone and drop it into the phone. It's already synced it. All you need to do is hit done. And when you go into your phone's preferences on the, um, in the sound and ringtone page, you can see the ringtones. Hopefully you can see the ringtones. But there you go, just a really quick, fun project that you can do. Uh, do this with your own music. I'm giving you permission to take anything from my videos and convert that into a ringtone if you wanted. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.